cooking with Leah Miles. You will never see this again. I am not a cook. It's Leah Miles' vlog. Leah Miles' vlog. It's Leah Miles' vlog. Good morning. Once again, I've lost my stick that I hold with the camera, with the stick, and the holding camera stick. I've lost my camera stick. Sorry, I know I look awful. I'm very tired. My eyes are puffy because, oh my god, that's awful. We need some collagen or something. Oh, that is just, I'll just do one of these. Anyway, so it's early. It's like eight o'clock in the morning. I'm up and at them because I'm finishing up candle orders. Hi, Houdini. Every time. These are, yes, these are uh, my, oh, Houdini, who's so cute, yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm finishing up uh, the candle orders that I've had recently here. Putting the swirls on and stuff. The swirls, the swirly swirls. Getting the swirls on and getting the candles out to you. I am extra weird in the morning and it has nothing to do with coffee and I can't explain it and I'm sorry. <laughs> Houdini can't explain it either. But anyway, why do you do this every single time? Why? All of my vlog footage is me saying, yes, Houdini, yes, Houdini. <laughs> So anyway, if you want to get uh, your new Christmas candles, don't forget that the Black Friday sale is happening No, until November 30th. Use coupon code BLACKFRIDAY20 at checkout to get 20% off of absolutely everything. And don't forget the 13 new Christmas candles that I came out with. They're a hoot. Everyone, everyone seems to be enjoying those and I'm very happy about that. The coupon code works on both my Etsy and my website, so go do that, go check that out and enjoy some stuff. Uh, yeah, so anyway, I'm doing the candles, but today what's most important <laughs> is Houdini. <laughs> it's you the star, you're always the star of the vlog. Watson's over here just chilling. <laughs> here in the good old US of A, uh, Thanksgiving is in two days. And if you don't know anything about what Thanksgiving entails in the great old United States of America, basically it's an excuse for us to eat a whole bunch of food and uh, get really fat while hanging out with family. And I've never been a big fan of Thanksgiving because I don't like eating with people, nor do I like eating a lot of food, especially when I'm expected to eat a lot of food. And I don't like a lot of traditional Thanksgiving food. But we are hosting Thanksgiving this year, and it's gonna be just a handful of JJ's extended family. Oh my gosh, Udini. So we're doing, we're doing a bunch of food, and I've been put in charge of the pies. So I'm making them today because <laughs> I'm not trying to do these pies at the last minute, and if I mess up, I want some time to remedy it, you know what I'm saying? So I've been put in charge of pumpkin pie and cherry pie. I've never made a cherry pie before. Pumpkin pie, that'll be easy. But the cherry pie, I don't know. I don't know. So we're gonna go on a pie making adventure together and <laughs> we'll see how that turns out. But for right now, I'm gonna be keep watching The Mess Singer here and it's super weird because I've gotten into the episodes now where they had to film some during lockdown and it's very weird to see Nick Cannon just in a room by himself with everybody else just on a video screen. It's very weird and I've been skipping those episodes because they're really boring actually and nothing actually happens. But anyway, so I gotta finish these candles. <laughs> And then we gotta get to pie. There might be a nap happening between though because I am super tired, <laughs> as you can see. Houdini just has to be in center stage. <laughs> okay. Well, this is just peachy. I'm trying to print out my shipping labels, right? So I can ship these my breakfast sandwich, just ignore that. The Etsy ones were fine. They printed out, you know, I got those all ready to go. They're ready to package everything, but the ones from my website, I go to USPS Click and Ship, right? And print them off from the USPS website. Well, this is the awesomeness that I am working with right now. Yes, Houdini. Click and Ship. Yeah, and there is a thing where if I go to my website and go to my orders, if I if I click on one, I can do create shipping label, but because this service communicates with the USPS website and basically does the same thing, but through the website, it won't pop up because they have errors. Oh, Houdini. Frequently in communicating with USPS. So that's why I never use that. I just go directly to USPS because this website is crap with communicating with the USPS thing and it just makes it so much harder and it's so stupid and I prefer to do it directly. So either way, 
Hi Houdini. <laughs> Either way, I can't print out shipping labels for my website orders right now. And they better get on that, like, lick at least. Lickety split like because I need to send this stuff out. Don't I, Houdini? Yes, I do. This cat. <laughs> yes, you're so sweet and loving and beautiful and awesome. And thank you. I appreciate your love. I do. I do. But mommy's trying to do stuff. Between having a job and then doing the candles, you know, in, in between the job time and cats standing between me and what I'm trying to do and product shipment delays from my suppliers and websites not cooperating, sometimes I get behind and also being overwhelmed with a lot of orders sometimes. That happens more often than not. So. Uh, anybody who sends me those messages demanding to know when their order will ship before even the scheduled ship time, just calm down, okay? Just calm down. I'm doing my best, I promise. I've only had a handful of people just kind of get in my face about it, and those people are probably not among my viewers anyway, but, uh, not trying to bitch you out or throw you under the bus or anything, but just calm down and does, you know, if you're nice about it, that's that's fine. I don't mind when people message me and like, hey, just wanted to check on the status of this. That's fine. I will tell them what's going on. They're always very nice and appreciative, and then I feel bad, and that's the way that goes. But when people message me and they're like, hey, where's my candles? And they just like hit the ceiling when they ordered, you know, three days ago, and <laughs> you know, that's not cool. Just you know, there isn't. Um, massive inventory warehouse back room thing that as soon as I get an order I can just go pluck the stuff from and just put it in a box and send it on its way. That is not how that works. It is not how that works. I have to print the labels, cut the labels, trim the wicks, place the wicks, sticker the jars, label the jars, heat up the wax, scent the wax, wait for them to cool so I can pour the next layer of wax, put on the swirls, put on the lids, print out shipping labels, print out packing slips, put them in the boxes with the packing peanuts, wrap them in tissue paper, schedule a pickup, you know, it's intensive and there's just one of me and it's a lot of work for one human being. And if I worked like a like an elf 24 seven around the clock, sure, it would be no problem, but I do have, <laughs> I do have a life, I do have another job, I do have other things to do, I have to eat and sleep and play sometimes, <laughs> so, oh my gosh. Sorry, mini rant over, it just kind of grinds my gears when I get those messages just demanding, where's my order? Oh my god, Houdini is licking my hand, <laughs> the one I was holding the camera in. <laughs> Alright, I need to get this going. Hope this comes back up. Thanks, USPS, for delaying me. That's really awesome of you. This cat loves me so much. <laughs> and now I have a Watson. Dini's still sitting over there. <laughs> These are my cats. Okay, let's see about making this pie. I gotta preheat the oven to 425. This is so exciting. JJ's downstairs taking a nap, so. I figured this would be the best time to be pie time. I gotta put stuff in a saucepan and do things. I gotta get out my big saucepan. I'm not even sure where it is. Um, oh, there it is. Way in the back. Who's there? <gasps> Houdini! Hi! You must have sensed that I pulled the camera out. We don't have enough space for anything around here, so I gotta get in there and pull that saucepan out. This vlog brought to you by Houdini, as always. <laughs> I got my mise en place here, <laughs> and my Houdini. <laughs> and y'all know my struggle with pie crust, so I just got a box pie crust thing because she's gonna, she's gonna help. <laughs> my God, this cat is where. We got the sugar and the cornstarch in here. Give it a little mix, and then we're supposed to add. <laughs> <laughs> Houdini's trying to tell me the recipe as I go here. I'm supposed to stir in the cherry juice slowly until smooth and then bring it to a boil. We're gonna do the microwave trick again. Hey! Okay, here we go. Because of our nicknames, 
Well, it's working. So this is what we're working with right here. Sorry for the mass singer in the background and Houdini right there. <laughs> So this is the cherry juice, the sugar, and the cornstarch here. Okay, okay, okay. Bring to a boil. I hate it when it says stuff like bring to a boil, cook and stir for some, like cook at the boiling temperature or reduce the heat or what, because they don't always, they're not always clear, so. I would call that brought to a boil. All right, so two more minutes. All right, well, I would say that that's thick. So I've removed it from the heat now. It's much pinker than I thought it would be. Okay, so now I have to add the cherries, I guess. I'm supposed to add the cherries, <laughs> the cherries, the almond extract, the cinnamon, and the nutmeg. I think it's weird that cinnamon and nutmeg are going into a cherry pie, but who am I to argue with the pie cookbook? I had to get frozen cherries, couldn't find any fresh ones because, you know, season. Here go the cherries. Oh my God, there's so much juice. All right, we have some cherries. All right, we got everything incorporated, but I want to taste it. That's the way you got to do everything. Good, that is so bizarre with the cinnamon and nutmeg in there, but boy, is it good. Oh, that's good. Mm, okay. Thank you, Houdini. <laughs> and this is how a pie crust and Neptune human being does pie crust. Oh my God. Yeah, that's way easier than like making it myself and trying to get it to cooperate. Whoa, I like this. I am a fan. Okay guys, here's my unbaked pie. I'm gonna put it in the oven and see what happens. Yeah, I did a lattice crust. What? <laughs> All right, I just pulled my pie from the oven. Let's look at it. So there's my cherry pie. That's actually my first ever cherry pie. <laughs> Believe it or not, she's still bubbling. Yeah, I think I did pretty okay for my first cherry pie. Yeah. My floor is squeaky. <laughs> Got my pumpkin pie in the oven. We just finished peeling the potatoes for mashed potatoes. We've got green bean casserole prepped in the yeah. fridge. <laughs> is it a little hot? <laughs> there's green bean casserole, lots of Irish butter. Oh, and there's my pie. It's gonna be a feast like none other. Yeah. We had an incident with the turkey, it leaked its juices all over the place. <laughs> that was fun, and yes, we cleaned it properly. Just pulled my pumpkin pie out of the oven, and it looks freaking delicious. We got mashed potatoes going. <laughs> we had the, gra the great mashed potato incident of uh, 2020. It got a little overloaded. I was playing the piano, and he just starts yelling, babe, babe, <laughs> and it was like, an explosion of mashed potato and butter and milk like all over the counter. One of the potatoes went flying like across the shit. <laughs> it was fun. It was a delightful little adventure. So we're, we're having fun. It's fun. <laughs> so I am attempting to make my mom's famous broccoli corn casserole. You're going back in the microwave because I need both hands. It's a, a staple in our family. She always made it for holidays and I am in love with this thing. So I am I just called her on the phone to confirm the recipe. Whoa, garlic salt. I'm trying to pull this off. So what we're doing is we're sauteing some Ritz crackers with some flour, some garlic salt, and some onion powder here. I have no idea if I'm doing this correctly because the, the woman who birthed me is the only person who can make this thing and make it awesome. I tried it once before and it wasn't great so we'll see if i can pull this off so she wrote the recipe down for me in the recipe book like for forever ago and i just called her to kind of confirm some stuff and she read it off exactly how she'd written it like 20 years ago which is very impressive the woman's memory is uncanny okay now i put in some american cheese i guess and a can of corn i suppose we should put the corn in first so that it, the cheese has a layer of something between it and like the bottom of the skillet we got a can of corn here we got corn for days we got like so much damn corn Okay, this can opener is janky and I don't like it. Can of corn. So I'm gonna layer these floppy cheese, pathetic excuse for cheese slices in here. I don't like American cheese. I think it's awful. It's pathetic excuse for cheese. It's not cheese. It's made completely differently. It's rubber, but for broccoli corn casserole, it is a must. I tried making this a different way one other time with like fresh broccoli instead of frozen and with like cheddar cheese instead of American. It did not go well at all. OMG. So we've got our craft singles in there on top of the corn. And now I'm gonna get some milk over the 
this to make the sauce. I don't know how much milk to use. I hope that was right. Ooh, it's pretty. I gotta microwave the other thing of broccoli, so you need to leave the microwave. Steam fresh. Oh, it looks good, it looks good. Yeah. All right, the filling, topping, schmear, whatever, looks good, just how I remember it. And I'm waiting for the other broccoli to cook so I can throw it in here with this broccoli and then We'll pour all the schmutz onto the broccoli and put some Ritz crackers on top and bake it. Try to clean up while I go here because I'm not a slovenly pig who makes my boyfriend clean up after me all the time. Because I'm a big girl, I can do it myself. So we're almost ready for the other thing of broccoli. And then I'm gonna pour that in, saute some more Ritz crackers saute the Ritz crackers and put it in with the casserole. We're gonna have a nice broccoli corn casserole for Thanksgiving. Oh, why do I do that? <laughs> We've got some broccoli, and I'm gonna get the schmutz. Put the schmutz on the broccoli. This is a much bigger dish than I think my mom used to use. And eh, maybe I'll make some more schmutz. Well, I know how to do it now, and I certainly have the stuff. So, all right, we're gonna schmutz it up here. Cooking with Liam Miles. You will never see this again. I am not a cook. I'm cooking. Mama would be proud. The adding of the schmutz. Yeah, just dump it all over the handle. That's that's the best thing to do, Leah. Good job. Yes, there we go. There we go. All right, there we have our broccoli with our filling and stuff, and now we're gonna do the Ritz crackers on the top, which gives it the nice crunchy, flavorful crunchy. All right, and we bake. Oh, it's looking good. Oh. <laughs> Just like mama used to make. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so proud of my pies. Oh, did I show you my pumpkin pie? There's my pumpkin pie. It cracked where I had to stab it with the knife to check. But other than that, yeah. So these are the mashed potatoes. This is the green bean casserole. There's the turkey. There's the ham. There's the houdini. There's the cherry pie. Broccoli corn casserole, which is coming out of the oven in 35 seconds. And then we're still doing gravy and some ocean air uh, creamed corn. And he's making caramel apple brie as well. So there's only going to be seven of us, but we are going to be fat, fat, fat. And that's okay because, you know, I've never had a proper Thanksgiving. Um, Mom hosted Thanksgiving, you know, a lot, but I, I was always weird about eating around people. I just didn't like to do it. So, I mean, she made a lot of food. She made really good food. I just didn't really partake so much because I, I was just weird about eating and we always ate at noon and I slept until noon. So it was basically like, yeah, wake up and eat the most enormous breakfast of your life surrounded by people. And I was like, I don't like this. <laughs> It'll be really nice to have a nice, proper Thanksgiving where I'm actually capable of eating now and we made the food. So I guess I've never hosted a Thanksgiving. So that's pretty cool. Oh, it's hot. It's hot. Oh, it's so hot. That looks so good. I know you guys can't see it, but that's okay. It looks so good. That looks amazing. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go downstairs and relax now. I hope you all had, since this vlog will go up after Thanksgiving, I hope you all had a pleasant Thanksgiving, all of you Americans who celebrate the pig out holiday nationally. Oh my God, I just stabbed myself in the eye. The cats are very interested in this turkey. I have to keep fighting them off. <laughs> I'm so sad that I didn't get the, <laughs> you fucking with them with the baster. <laughs> Here we go. You want to sniff it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that definitely went on for quite some time. <laughs> We're trying to get are having a hoot. These kids don't think Papa's very funny. <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> you have to guard the turkey from these little guys. We have a white Thanksgiving. It snowed. See it snow. <laughs> we have to butter the turkey. Give the turkey a, a the butterball turkey needs a butter bath. <laughs> what is this little white button on the top here? That's the thermometer. Oh, that's the thermometer? Do you know once that thing pops out, it's supposed to be dead. Oh shit, okay. I've heard tell of these things. Get it. What's up? Put a skid. Put a skid. 
You can have some turkey when it's done. <laughs> yes, you can have some turkey when it's done. Yeah, see, I've never been in the presence of a raw turkey before. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I mean, uh, my mom never made one. I certainly never made one. So, yeah, watching you pull that neck out of there about traumatized me, honestly. <laughs> This is the way we butter the turkey. Oh God. <laughs> it's gonna be so good though, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I had to take Watson captive on my lap because she kept trying to interfere. And Houdini is just fascinated with what's going on. <laughs> Feels like I've used some degreaser. <laughs> All the herbs in there. Herbal degreaser. This turkey inspected by cat number one. All right, so now it goes in there for five hours about. <laughs> oh my goodness. And it's gonna take 20 or 30 minutes to tent. And you tent it in the foil, it retains its juices. Mmm, juices. Yes, <laughs> turkey juices. That should have been our band name. Turkey juices and the giblets. <laughs> All right, so when are we putting the ham in there? 12.30. Okay, it is 8.30 currently. All right, so what's next, Kimosabi? Bedtime. <laughs> oh, so you, do you wanna go back to bed? Yeah, I wanna go back to bed. <laughs> right. Oh God, it's working this time. He's cheered. Yeah, Scrappy got some new sweaters. Yes, he did. <laughs> He's obsessed with his brown sugar. <laughs> Come on, we gotta show everybody what you look like with your little hood up and your antlers. There you go. Scrappy the Jingle Reindeer. <laughs> He really wants more brown sugar. <laughs> See, he's already like all hopped up on it. Watson does not look pleased with this. <laughs> Fish, everybody gets treats. You guys will get some turkey and some ham, I promise. Yes, mama promises to share with you. Well, I we got the whole place spick and span down here, and cleaned up and cleaned the bathroom and everything. We got our casseroles all set up and the mashed potatoes and the ham and there's the JJ doing his thing with the leek. I don't know why I'm talking like this. You've been talking Southern all day. Have I? You have. Well, gee whiz. Dude, yeah, that looks nice. <laughs> so we got a ways to go. Yeah, it's a little cauldron of creamed corn. Ocean Air. Oh, excuse me. Ocean Air creamed corn. I guess Ocean Air is a restaurant in... Minneapolis. Minneapolis, yes. And apparently this is the creamed corn. Yeah, delightful creamed corn. It's delightful, is it? I didn't realize leeks were so big. That's enormous. All right, so we have an hour before people arrive for food and we're all dressed and ready to go. <laughs> I love that you're wearing an apron, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, we're almost there. The turkey's done, the ham is cooking, the casseroles are going and apparently I'm to help. Turkey is in its tent. And uh, I'm to help strain the turkey juices. <laughs> you're so cute, that smile was everything. <laughs> You're so awesome for doing this. And I helped. <laughs> yeah, Scrappy's all dressed up too in his nice little sweater. Aww. <laughs> mm, you look so handsome and cute. <laughs> Warm. We have a lovely spread. Turkey, ham, pie, stuffing, stuffing, gravy, cream corn, cream bean casserole, broccoli corn casserole, mashed potatoes. Yeah. Well, I'm happy to report that our Thanksgiving went off without a hitch. It was wonderful. Everybody was really happy. We had a lot of fun. It was a really good time. We had so much food, but everybody enjoyed it. We sent uh, almost everybody home with a plate of extra stuff. My pies were a hit, which I'm very happy about. Thank you. I don't pie. I'm not great with the pie thing. And uh, well, they both turned out really, really well, and I'm very proud of that. So. 
I'm glad that the people enjoyed the pie. JJ's food was, oh, oh God, his food was delicious, as always, as to be expected. So yeah, it was really, really good. It went really well, it was a lot of fun. Um, his brother stayed and hung out and played pool with him for a while, and uh, Aunt Bonnie stayed for a little while too, and hung out, and I got to talk to her a little bit, got to know her better, which made me feel good, because she's a lovely lady. And it, apparently we have a lot in common, so I appreciated that, and that was really cool. So no, it was a really good time. We had a really nice Thanksgiving. Went way better than the Halloween party, that's for sure. <laughs> but this is the first time either of us have hosted a family Thanksgiving. So it was a really big deal. It meant a lot to me, it meant a lot to JJ, and it meant a lot to the family. And it, it was a really good time. They kept, everybody kept saying, oh, you really outdid yourselves, you outdid yourselves. And, and I mean, it was our first time with it, so. You know, we didn't know what we were doing, but apparently we did it well, so it was nice. A couple of things here. I'm going to be doing Vlogmas this year. Rephrase. I'm going to attempt to do Vlogmas this year. I know I had a few people ask me if I was going to do it, and yes, I do intend to do it. I'll try my best because with my job that I just got home from, by the way, plus making candles, uh, plus, you know, doing everything else that I do in my world, and hanging out with boyfriend and cats, hi Houdini, and Scrappy and everything, um, I'll try. I, I don't have as much time as, as uh, just a normal YouTube vlogger would because that's all they do, because they made it big and I didn't, but that's okay, that's okay. I'm happy for my dedicated, loyal group of followers. You guys are awesome, you guys are what keeps me going, and I really appreciate that. Meow. So does Houdini. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna try to do Vlogmas this year, so strictly on the vlog channel though. I don't have the energy for main channel videos right now. Um, and uh, one of those videos, I'm. Uh, some people said that they wanted to get to know JJ better, which makes sense because was, you know, like, yes, like when we talked about before, you know, he's not super active, you know, whenever I have the vlog on of the camera. She's scrambling my brain. Houdini, you're adorable, my goodness. I decided I'm gonna do a Q&A video with him and it's not gonna be like one of those relationship Q&A videos where I read from a tag list and, you know, ask him questions about us or whatever. I decided that you guys can come up with the questions to ask him so that whatever you want to know about him, I can ask him those questions and then you guys can get to know him better, which is the whole purpose of the thing. I already posted this on my Facebook fan page, so if you're not following that, again, go follow it because I post stuff there all the time about my videos and my candles and ask your guys' opinions of stuff. So facebook.com slash I am Leah Mouse. If you want to follow that, that would be great and you'll be in the know. So in the comments of this video, uh, if there's any questions you have for JJ. Oh. oh my. If there's any questions you have for JJ that you want me to ask him that you would like to know about him. I mean, I can't guarantee I'll ask him every single thing that gets posted, because that would be a really long video, but I will pick uh, the, what I believe to be are the best ones, most interesting ones, most beneficial ones and stuff. So uh, go ahead and post your questions for him in the comments below, and I will make a vlog, <laughs> and I will make a Q&A vlog about, you know, asking him stuff so you guys can uh, learn more about him and see him a little bit more and he can interact with you guys a little bit more and be his wonderful, awesome, beautiful self because he really is amazing and I want you guys to be able to see that the way I can see it because this guy rocks. I'm gonna go ahead and hang out with Scrappy for a little bit here. I have some other stuff to do, of course. I'm always doing stuff and I will see you guys next time. I hope you all had a good Thanksgiving here in the good old United States of America. Yeah, don't forget to go check out my candles and my Black Friday sale only until November 30th. Okay, bye.